Yep. So this is next future game show. That's the next little digital event. I'd say press conference, but it's like a little digital event. Like, you know, Nintendo Direct. It's a digital event, not really a press conference. But yeah, not everyone's doing digital events like, like Nintendo does. Well, yeah, I can sit here and talk to you guys until four o'clock. Or I can end this and recontinue it later on. Well, either way, I'm probably going to take this stream and break it down in segment parts when I upload it. Yeah. Yep. I upload the stream. It was fun. Yeah, I liked watching that. You know, I can't quite, not sure what to say about it, but yeah. We saw that. I already forgot a lot of the names on a lot of the games we saw there. I know their Surges Simulator 2 looked funny. Mm. Not, like, every time I see a sequel, I think about, well, I never played the first game. But I still like checking out all these games on, like I said, whether or not I'd actually play them there. So, like, I'd still like to, but I have my own niche on my own channel when I create content myself that I don't create content like a lot of other most people do so I don't really do things like playthroughs or walkthroughs I still try to get around to those but yeah try to find more efficient ways so I can so I check out seasonal events you know time load events in the video games like say like during the summer or the summer event or say like in the month of October there's like Halloween events or Christmas events in December you know, that's an example so I'm trying to check out a seasonal event and as many games as I can or something throughout the season this is what I like to do check out what what new like I don't know is there a limited time game mode uh, excuse me is there a limited time game mode or what's the new cosmetics or whatever in this new and things like that I like looking into that kind of stuff yeah I like checking out the seasonal events in the games like there was a there was a, a little event I don't know if I'd really call it a summer event but a summer seasonal event but there's one like say like an Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's one called the Wedding Season. That's why it's called Wedding Season. I know some other games did it too. Didn't feel like much of a like a didn't feel like much of a summer event, but yeah, that's an example. Of something I checked out in the early summer of June for Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's been a while since I played Animal Crossing New Horizons. I did that like last week. Yeah. Last week I checked it out already. What's over here? Gotten. Alright, so I guess while we're waiting here, how do we do this? Refresh. This is what's next. A digital showcase of upcoming games hosted by Nolan North and Emily Rose. So, a new look at Mulder's Game 3 and more. Guerrilla Collective didn't seem like it was as long as PC Game and Chill. Felt like this was longer than Future Games. I'm sure I'd sit here and talk about the games I saw, but I can't remember most of the games. I saw some pretty interesting games that, who knows, I may get around to check out, you know? If I, like, whenever that is, I check it out. Like, for example, I haven't checked, I've never played the first Surgeon Simulator game, and when will I ever go around to play it? That's the thing. There's so many games, it's like, yeah. At a certain time, I'm trying to explain what I'm trying to say. I feel like I always have a tough time explaining what I'm trying to say at times. Yeah, at least I still try. So, well, let's see what they got in future games, so. Because it's called PC Gaming Show, so it's a lot of computer games on the, you know, computer. PC stands for personal computer. Of course it does. Personal computer. Unless someone says, no, PC stands for piece of crap. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I've literally heard someone say that before. Now, clearly, they're biased. 
because they use the Apple computer. It's stupid. Apple, Windows, Microsoft, whatever. And like, it's nothing more than just another computer. That's all it is. It's just nothing more than just another operating system. That's all it is. It's not like, in their own ways, they both suck and they're both great in their own ways. It's like, no matter which company you side with, they both suck in their own way and they're both great in their own way. People are just biased and one sided about who they say is better. It's just, yeah, everyone has their own interpretation of what they would define as better. But yeah, it's like anything a person says or thinks, it's just their own perception, interpretation on something. Perception is everything. Yet, saying perception is not everything is like a huge contradiction. That's almost seems like a paradox. If you even understand what I'm saying right now. If not, yeah. I don't know, I'll tell you. Try learning some psychology and maybe you'll get what I'm talking about. Oh, the scene's about to start. Yay. Because, I don't know, I'm just talking about random things here. Here we go. There it is. See? Waiting for game radar. June 13, 2020 at 3.30 p.m. So it's going to start it. See, it's just 3.30 p.m. So this is, this is next. It's about to start soon. Yeah, can't leave. All right. Yeah, it's like literally, I'm only contradicting my own point with what I just said a while ago. I mean, anything a person says or thinks is all part of their own perception, their own perspective, their own interpretation of something. So I'm pretty much proving my own point by me saying any of everything I've said. So really, anything someone says or thinks is just their perspective. Of course, not like they're right or wrong. That's just the way, that's how society wants people to think. Society wants people to think that there's a right and wrong in things. But... Defining is my point is it is by the individual's own definition on what is or isn't. So, yet me just saying that the contradiction, huh? Everyone has their own definition of what they think of something. Every time I see that, I always lose myself. Yeah, every time I see that, a lot of people. For example, would interpret everything I say as, oh, nice philosophy. They think that's like my own philosophy. I don't even see that as my own philosophy. They, in, that's my point. They interpret everything I just said as a philosophy. I'm like, okay, I'm not even talking about philosophy. But all right, that's what people would say in response. That's how they interpret it. They interpret what I'm saying as a philosophy. I like I don't care all that much for philosophy. What the heck? It's, no, I'm not talking about opinions. I'm talking about perception, our senses, how you would how you would perceive things, interpret things in the world through your sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of smell, sense of taste, sense of feel, touch. Those are your you know five senses of perception. I'm not talking about opinions. I'm talking about sense. Well, Whatever, whatever people, diff, everyone has their own definition of things. Ugh. The stream will start at 2 p.m. PT, 5 p.m. ET, it's about to start soon. There it is. Yep, that's the next step digital event. Future game show, here we go. About to start soon. It's only 3.35, it starts soon in a bit. So yeah, it's like I'm, I'm doing a little bit of what I did last year, like with my last live reaction stream over E3 2019. But since there's no E3 in 2020, it's just, yeah, they try and still, they still showcase all their digital events. Even though there's no E3, they still still try to, they're calling them digital events rather than actual press conferences. Like it's all piece of doing so already. Of course, I saw a lot of interesting news. Just, there's so many, I'm not sure which one I would talk about throughout that whole moment. with just talking there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think that way. 
I don't think there's a they don't think there's any right or wrong answers. There are only different ways of looking at things or seeing things. That's how I think or see. Yeah, if someone were to disagree with me, well then that basically proves my point of what I'm saying and getting at. Cause that proves my point that there's always multiple ways of looking at something. Some people are too one-sided or closed-minded and they probably don't understand what I'm saying or getting at. Because there's a variety of different ways to go about seeing something or looking at something. That's why I said is every individual's own definition on what is or what isn't. Like, what am I talking about here? Huh, funny. I'm just talking about, I guess I'm talking about psychology or something. Or what I picked up. Like, everyone has their own understanding on how something works and things like that. It's everyone has a different perspective or point of view and there's nothing wrong with that there's a variety of different ways of looking at something because like i said the way i see it there is no right or wrong perspective just different ways of looking at something that's how i see it because there's multiple ways to go about of perceiving or interpreting something it's not just one way the way you see it is one way, you know? The way you see something is just one way out of all the other ways you can see something. So everyone else might see something differently. That proves my point that there's a different way of looking at something. It's a variety of different perspectives, a bunch of different ways you can look at and see something. If you're open-minded, you can see what I'm getting at. Yeah, so... I don't think I'm ever right or wrong with anything I say or think, no, because I, I just know that everything I'm saying is just my own interpretation, it's just my perspective, so it's not right or wrong, it depends on how you would interpret it when saying it's either right or wrong, because it's almost like you could see anything as right or anything as wrong in the world, and like if someone would disagree with me, because they see it differently from how I just said it. It's almost like there is everything, every, like, well, everything, like, is or isn't, and yet, vice versa. Huh. It's like, is it real or is it not? Like, saying what's real, what's not real. Eh, I just think very pensively, that's how I think. Very pensively. Uh, how I look at things. I don't just look at things one way. I feel like I see a bunch of different ways and looking at something so just looking at it one way others like i don't know how you can put it like different angles or different there's a bunch of there i see a bunch of different ways of going about something better than just one way or i like to at least try to see it in different ways or I'm just see it one way huh. and that's why i guess arguments happen an argument in itself shows that there are two different viewpoints, perspectives, interpretations on something. Through his sense of sight and his sense of sight. Everyone has their own unique sense of sight, hearing, smell, taste, or touch smell. And yet me saying that is just my own interpretation of thinking that. You know? Like I don't need someone telling me I'm right or wrong because I don't think that way. That's how society wants people to think. Society wants people to think that there's a right and wrong in things. Mm. I'm not saying there isn't a right and wrong things. It's just up to you on what you would define as right and wrong in something. Mm. Every time I try to even talk about what I'm even saying, I have a hard time explaining it. Uh, or explaining a lot of things. Yet I still try to anyway. Yeah, I'm just talking about some random thing here while I wait for this next stream to start. The stream will start at... It says, yeah, 1 p.m. if you're Pacific time zone, 5 p.m. if you're Eastern. Uh, and I have Central stand, I have Central time, CT for Central time. So it's 4 p.m., 4 p.m. for me while it's 5 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. So that's how I think about things in the world. You could, you could perceive anything as like, what is even real or what's not real? Uh, 
everyone has their own reality on how they see things in reality, their own perspective. Or, you know, you hear some things where reality is not as it seems or something like that. Uh, or, reality is an illusion. <laughs> Funny. And some people say things like that. When people say things like that, it's like, they're like, yeah, I can understand why someone would say that. What they mean by when they say that. When they say reality is illusion, they're saying your perspective of something in reality is your own illusion versus someone else's perspective of that set thing in reality. So and since everyone has different perspectives, different senses, plus different ways of looking at something. I like to see how there's, there's a bunch of different ways to look at something instead of just one way. I guess it's almost hard to see something differently when you only can see through your own perception and what you're gonna see from your own perception is how you see it or how someone else sees it huh. that sort of thing now someone would respond to me with what I've just said as if it was my own philosophy and I don't even think of it or see it as my own philosophy it's my own understanding on how the mind works through psychology because that's what perception is but yeah I spent a bunch of different years like learning psychology on my own it's, it's like we live in an era where you can learn things like you don't have to go to school or college just to learn things now we live in an era where there's a bunch of different ways you can like learn something in fact we have the internet you know we live in an era where you can learn things all on your own and not have to go to college to learn something you know that seems like the only reason we go to college is just to get a degree and stuff like that just show proof that we've learned it, even though you can just as easily learn it all on your own. Because school is only going to show you and teach you so much. If you want to know a lot more about something, you got to go into it and learn it for yourself instead of relying on someone else to teach you all of it. <laughs> That's why I realized from my experience. It's why I'm so self taught with a lot of what I know. And I feel like, I don't know, I guess I've always felt like school was just never like I don't know I don't put in words what school was like for me and such I guess it was never an easy thing to go through there are over two million gamers oh this is about to start future games uh, 2020 as you guys can see I'm missing my left eye god that's so loud <laughs> I am a part of. I saw a bit of this earlier. This little like thing. Do you not like anyone else? It's loud, so I'm turning it down. It's about to start soon. With my friend, not responding anymore. He's breathing really hard. You know he just had a seizure. Oh. I built an arcade in my basement. This What's is this? Oh. You're in a whole different world. I've seen this before. I saw it earlier. I, I understand what was are, going on. Gender you are. Oh, okay, I know what they're talking I about now. Yep. Yeah. Last time I saw this earlier, I was like, what was going on? Ah, I'm driving those cards. Does that look like a Warhog from Halo? Ah, skydiving. Oh, that's real, it says. Totally good, that's what it was. Okay, he has an advertisement for a group on Facebook. Yeah, who cares what your ethnicity, what size is your age or whatever, what that one person said in there. The way I see it, it's all about your character, who you, who you are, your, your core essence, your personality, your character. That's what makes you distinct and unique from everyone else. Uh, like, sure, there's a bunch of other people who, who have the same ethnicity or whatever you are and things like that. Sure, there's a lot of people who have that. That's not what makes you unique. No. Like, oh, there's a bunch of other people who are either a guy or a girl or whatever. That's not what makes you distinct for who you are. That's your character. Who you are is your character. Personality. That's why I see matters most in a person. That was just a little ad. That's what that was about in Facebook group. It looked somewhere like, like Twitch. The logo looked like Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say anything I say that's how they interpret what I'm saying. Now I'm talking about that other thing I was talking about earlier. 
that's just how I think. Like, when you look at like things like tests, quizzes, exams, they're all just ways of school and society trying to try to program how society wants you to think and pursue and see things in life. And try to program how we think subconsciously. Like, oh, everyone, they expect everyone in the world to perceive and without even thinking about it, like subconsciously, you think, oh, blue is for boys, like men, and pink is like for girls, like, oh, it's a feminine color, and this is like a masculine color, but is it, it's just a color, that's all it is, but we're expected to interpret as either a uh, masculine or a feminine color, but define masculinity, define femininity, aside from society's definition on what that is, you know what I mean? But, yeah. That's what I was getting at earlier. That's how I think. Like I said, I think very pensively. I think deep thoughts. That's how I think. I guess deep thought is another word for meditation. Like, what is meditation? It's being in the moment. It's not necessarily sitting in a lotus position. <laughs> that's not, not, those are little technicals you do to meditate. That's one way to try and move so that you're in the moment. But most people do it to what? Clear their, clear their thoughts. That's what they say when most people do it, of course. I say there's anything wrong with that, of course not. But again, saying whatever is right or wrong is on how you would pursue it. And I feel like you're just saying that. But look for my own point. They got 12 minutes left. 11 minutes left. It's about to begin. Future game show. That's what we're watching next. I have to break the stream into segments, arts, before I upload it. Like, I wasn't sure of, of even streaming this onto YouTube. Who knows? YouTube is not an easy place to even stream on. No. It's like a platform where you upload videos. Um, it's like, kind of got to be careful. When you're streaming on YouTube, it's like, you got to be careful with what you're streaming. Because I don't know if you might accidentally get, like, you know what they call a copyright strike or just a simple content ID claim. It's not a, it's not a copyright strike. It's just a content ID claim. You can try to remove it out of your video, but yeah, you can't monetize this video because of content ID claim. That's why I don't care about trying to make any money off of the reaction videos or something. It's just something like do for fun. Not that I make any money on YouTube or anything like that, but you never know. That could happen someday. Maybe. You never know. But I just do all this because I enjoy doing it. I'll probably keep doing it for as long as I live because I like doing this. That's the only reason, real reason why I do it. I, I don't stream or make videos and stuff just to try to get a bunch of views or subscribers or anything like that. No, I do it because I enjoy doing it. But if, if I do happen to get a lot or a follow or, or whatever from somebody, thanks, much appreciated, of course. That's how I look at it, that's why I do what I do here. I'll just keep doing it because I enjoy doing it. So the only reason, that's my mindset for how I always look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes when I'm talking, I'm not sure whether or not I was enunciating or whether or not I could understand a word I just said. Hopefully you understood what I said. That's what I get concerned about. I don't know if someone really understood what I said or if I was like bubbling or something was enunciated well. That happens also when I'm talking. Weird I'm talking about some something else and I'm not talking about like all of this stuff here. But of course I'm just waiting until the next digital event because they're not literally they're still a showcase not really a press conference it's more of a digital event like nintendo direct it's a digital event even though it's still alive but yeah so all this happens in nine minutes like i did this like last year with e3 e3 2019 my live reaction stream i took this whole stream which was like, say the whole stream was like eight hours long, but I broke it into segments, parts. Like, this segment is where I'm watching this 
this press conference and then this segment is this segment is in between press conferences like what i'm doing right now is a, a part that's in between the pc gaming show and the future game show it's its own segment that i'm bringing down in the arts and if i were to upload this on the youtube so yeah that's i just like to archive it look back at it. it's fun fun doing this that's why i like doing it enjoy doing it Sure, I'd probably stream so I can talk to people and see people online and things like that. Yeah, fun to talk to people and things like that. Or maybe play some games with some of my viewers and things like that. It's fun doing that. Sure. I mean, yeah, of course, that's like another reason why I do this. You know, that's that word. Socialize, right? Yeah. Of course. And I guess in a way, this is kind of like, what, my only way of doing that since... I don't know, my own experience with people in life. It's just... Yeah, I don't know where to even begin with that. That's what I'm saying that. Yeah, I don't know, when I grew up around people or something since early childhood, I don't know, never really had like a... Uh, why am I even trying to explain this? Like I've said this numerous times when I was talking throughout my vlogs. Yeah. Like, I don't know how I would explain it right now at the moment, but yeah. Like, I would, but, you know. I've said it numerous times. Already, my experience with people only ended up having psychological damage since early childhood from my experience around people. I guess I could say I grew up... I guess it was a coincidence that I somehow encountered the wrong kinds of people in my life since early childhood, basically. And that's why I kind of have trouble around people. Well, but it's subconscious. Something that you're stuck with throughout your life as long as you live, basically. Mm -hmm. But everyone has their own challenges and struggles that they go through as they go through life. Everyone's life is different. Of course. I guess that's kind of part of what makes everyone unique. Everyone's life is different, or how each person is different to stay in their own way. Aside from all the what seems so similar from person to person. Six minutes left until this thing starts. Future game show. Yeah. I don't do vlogs a whole lot on my channel. Plus, I don't know what I would talk about. I don't want to just sit there and go on about talking about whatever. I guess that's what I'm kind of doing, but. I'd rather get straight to the point of whatever I'm talking about. So, no sleep. Stay hydrated. I know. Dude. Of course. Yeah, I know. Drinking soda isn't exactly being hydrated. Like, yeah, I could leave and go get a glass of water while this is going on. Yeah, I could do that. Leave it here and I'll be right back. Go get a glass of water. But then I had to go run to the bathroom. And I had to... I'd hate to... Be on this while I'm gone. The speed will be right back. <sighs> like, get to be on that for a long period of time. And have to trim that out of the video when I edit this. I don't know, yeah. It's like, yeah, do it all in one thing. Like, of course, sure, I could have ended this and restarted the stream back up again. That's one way, or I can just sit all in one sitting. And the stream has been for two hours. Yes, PC Gaming Show was like around an hour long. That's how long PC Gaming Show was. It's an hour. And then this future game show. It's already five hours. No, not five hours, excuse me. It's already almost five o'clock in the Eastern times. The East, is it called East Coast? Eastern Standard Time? Or am I in the West Coast, like Central Standard Time? I don't know. I get mixed up with the whole East Coast, West Coast thing. Yeah, we're all expected to find things a certain way. Because society wants everybody to see things the same way. When naturally, everybody will have their own perspective, their own pers 
perception, their own senses. That's how everyone sees things differently. Because as long as everyone has their own unique senses, they experience and see the world differently. Not everyone's gonna see things the same way. That's the reality. Even though society in itself wants everyone to see things the same way. Like things like the dictionary, thesaurus, or tests, quizzes, exams. Just try to get everyone to see things the same way. As if so many people sing a, so many people sing a bunch of things differently instead of all the same way. But, well, yeah, you know, this is the way to try to much different way than how people would interpret why that is. Like, yeah, everything I'm saying is just my own interpretation, of course. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. Yeah, I could literally go run to the kitchen and get a glass of water and run back. But there's two minutes left. Let's see if I can do that. You wanna see if I can do that? Go run to the kitchen? I'm afraid to have to get up in the middle of this. Like, oh shoot, go to the restroom. I don't want to get up and go to the restroom in the middle of this. You know? Yeah. I mean, this is the last, the last uh, event, digital event. And then I'll watch Gorilla Collectives later on. Yeah, I'll watch Gorilla Collectives later on. Kind of have to go down here. There we go. See? I'll watch this again later on because I didn't see it earlier this morning. So, yeah, I'll watch it again later on. The trigger show. So, that's the next thing. Two minutes left. All right, I know. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. How you doing? Is that false? Is that false? Excuse me. How you doing? Is that false? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Couldn't see my hand because the thing is in the way. I think I should sit back more and not too close to the two screen, computer screen like this because then you can't see my arms on screen. I well, sit back more and now you can see my arms on screen. The way the webcam is. God, I have trouble with. Positioning the leg and such. That's why I always have trouble when I do these reaction videos or reaction streams. 